Class 9 English The Lake Isle of Innisfree In the poem, I refers to the poet. T says that he wants to go to Innisfree. T will build a small room with the help of clay. T will make the walls of the rooms with small sticks. T will grow the nine rows of the bean near his home. T will also have the honey bee from which he can collect fresh honey. T says that his room will be full of the buzzing sound of bees and he will live alone in peace and silence there. In the second stanza, the poet says that he feels peace in the Innisfree Island. He will feel peace enveloping him gradually. Further, he says that in the morning, when the clouds cannot be seen clearly, then it appears as the morning has worn a cover. This scene will make him feel more serene. He says that he enjoys the morning song of the cricket insect. At midnight, the twinkling in the sky gives him immense pleasure. In the afternoon, the purple glow of the sunlight makes him feel happy and in the evening, he enjoys the scene of the linnet birds flying in the sky with their full wings. In the last stanza, the poet is determined to go to Innisfree. He says that he will now stand up and go to Innisfree because day or night, all the time in his mind he hears the sound of the lake water hitting the shore. Whenever he stands in the city, on the roadway or on the grey-coloured pavement, he hears the sound deep inside his heart.